Hello everyone and welcome back to another Elder Scrolls Online video. I'm here today to show you how to get the best interface in Elder Scrolls Online. So, let's get you ready to it. Click Escape, go into Settings, and keep in mind this video is for people who doesn't use add-ons, like it's how to play the better game the best way naturally. Of course, in my way, like how i think the game is best and of course some people would be like no i don't want this we're gonna skip video and audio because that's pretty much up to you like what graphical settings you're just gonna use and what video settings you, uh, audio you want just i play with npc subtitles I, I think it's nice to like could read what's actually being said around me first one is going to be gameplay i highly recommend enabling food inverse kinematics it basically instead of your character as like always just stand tall if you use this one your character will look much better when mo moving around and i actually actually also moving upstairs like on, on stairs like you will actually have a your, your your feet will actually move properly instead of just being like a you know what i mean like it's it's trust me just enable it and you you will look 10 times better uh combat queue is always on um should be on default default if you scroll down again like here Auto loot, I highly recommend having this on and consolidated area loot. Basically, it loots everything around so you don't have to loot every corpse. And auto loot, just loot everything instantly. And in the right corner, you will be able to see what you just looted. Highly recommended. So that's what I would go with. That's pretty much on gameplay. Like, gameplay is just food inverse. Combat cues should always be on. And yeah. Consolidated auto loot and auto loot, and if you are like uh, you can also see here quick cast ground abilities. You can like if you want to like every time you use a, like an area ability where you have to place on the ground. If you want it to always be like automatically used, like boom ASAP when you press the button, then you should have it on or off off like where you have to like to select it automatically. It's like it's picking this situation for you. Like yeah, it's different camera. I highly recommend when you're playing in third person, as you probably always do, your field of view, like default settings is like this, but if you take it all the way back, you're gonna see much more on the screen. So I highly recommend field of view, take it all the way to 130. And default, you have like this one here, horizontal position, which will then make your character look like, you know, you see him, oh shit. <laughs> you see him from like the left side. I don't like that personally, so I always go in here, settings, camera, and change it to zero. Because that means now my character is centered like all MMOs. It's just much easier for me to get used to. And you actually now target, well, I mean, you, you also target, of course, right before. But now I just feel like it's much more centered and like all MMOs, which I kind of like. Then we go into settings again and go back to camera. And that's actually it. You can see like I have everything else on default except horizontal and field of view. Trust me, you are going to love it. You, I'm, I'm sure you're going to love it. Interface. So up here, I have, um, you can choose between like preferred user ID or character name. I go with character names. Could also use user ID, but I like to see what people have called like characters. I could also use ID. Use ID. It's, it's up to you. Groovy Rider, Kinda, Automatic, Quest Tracker, On. So you can see which quest you're on. Quest giver icon, yes. Compass quest givers on. Um, all this is pretty much on default. But I, if you have not on this, I would say put all this on. You just, it's gonna make you much more easier with finding quests and so on. Then you go down here to chat bubbles. This one is default off for some reason, but I highly recommend taking it on. And also or yourself is also off for some reason. And I also want that on. So that basically means when people, they chat now, no matter which channel it is, um, like say, you can see here, hello. It actually shows like a chat bubble above me and also of the other people here, because else normally you would have to look down in the chat to see if people talk. But now when you're playing in dungeon, you can actually see above people's head when they talk. It, it makes it 10 times easier for you to like see, oh, someone is saying something. Instead of you have to look down in the chat, which is stupid. So definitely put everything on here. Uh, of course, it's up to you and how fast you want it to like fade away again. Down here, I always play with frame rate and latency on so I can see my frame rate here in the top left. Default, it's down here, but I like to have it like up here. You can also lock it if you want. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So 
I can see my latency is right now 77 and my frame rate is 144, which I have capped it on. So really great. Nameplates, it's a must in my world to have on, like it's super must. So I would say on, on, on. Show guild, show title and nameplates. I like to have everything else is default here, but the self I have changed it so it's uninjured. So basically when I have taken damage, it will show a health bar on top of my health. So it's easier for me to like quickly see, oh, I'm losing health. I know I have my health bar like down here, but sometimes it's nice to have like an indicator in the middle of the screen, which shows, shows me you are under attack. So definitely on nameplates, on, 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 and self endured rest is pretty much default. Then also health bars on, so I can see the health bar on above the enemies. So like when I attack them, I can see the, the, the health on them, above them, and not just on top of the screen. So definitely health bars on and wrist on health bars down here is like pretty much default too. Yeah. Indicators, um, it's, I'm pretty sure I, this is default, but else you should just like put everything on, on. and in alliance indicator, put it on enemies. So your own it like allies will look like default, but on your enemies in PP, you will have like a flag on above them telling that you're it's the enemy. Social, not really gonna change anything here, no. Combat, this one is quite important. So this one is like the biggest one for all the settings. You have ability bar, which I always want to show. I always want to see my spells, no matter what. Ability bar timer is a must have. It basically shows you, for example, when I use a spell here, you can see it t tells me on seconds on the spell how long it's gonna last there. Of course, I could have it on buffs and see how long the buff is, but still it's going to show me the seconds, how long it's actually on, which is super efficiency. And when we go into uh, come back again, you can also uh, add this one, add ability bar or ability bar back row, which basically means when I use my four and five, now when I switch bar, you can see the spell is behind, is actually like counting. This one is like a bit misunderstanding since it's um, not the same spell. So if we go to like this, so now you can see here using my five, using my four, change ability bar, and there you go. Now you can see it in the background below there when it's like off and I have to reuse it again. So in this way, it's very easy to always know, oh, I have to go back here, use my spells, go back again, which is quite handy. You have to admit this is like a super required thing. So definitely under combat, always, always on, on, on. Attribute bars, I like to have them always on, always to like see when I'm injured and you know, I just like to see always how much health I have. You can also of course put it on automatically and it will show when you go into combat. But for some reason, I just like, I just like to have it on. Like, yeah, I just want it on. Resource numbers, I have number and percent, which basically shows both the how much health I have and how much percent it is on right now. And the same on your targets and so on. And then we have active combat tips which is like, it's, it's gonna like display something, you know, like combat is heads up on, you know, do this, do that. Because I'm a noob, I like to have them on. So I think it's nice to have them on. It's like, it's helping you, telling you to blog or, you know, like quick tips. Ultimate number, I think it's nice. You can see on my ultimate in the top right, no, sorry, in the bottom corner down, down here. It's like having a number on, so I can see how much ultimate I have right now. And then you can see I need 125 for actually being able to use this spell. So it's, it's nice to see how much I actually have. Go around to combat again. Ultimate number, yes. Um, this one is always default on. This one, I for some reason it's off, but I don't know why. It, it's just so weird for me. Why would they put this off? Because when you put, it's like, it's, it's a must in my world to have on. It's basically showing you the damage and healing you're doing. So basically when I attack someone, or if I do a healing, you can see like here. Oh, sorry. The healing. It basically shows me the healing I do on people. Like if I do here, I can see the healing on myself and the people. And the same if you attack someone, it will show you the damage you deal on them. Like, why would you not like that? I mean, it would be nice for me to always see, oh, I just did a big crit. Like, oh, damn, 4k damage on the enemy, damn. You know, something like that. So in my world, go combat, scroll down, always enable combat text. This one is default off pet damage. For some reason, I like to also see when my pets are doing damage, just 
it's always nice to see all the damage on the screen. But I don't have it on so I can see when my pet is taking damage, that doesn't matter for me. If you don't play with add-ons, I would highly recommend to enable all the buffs, like always show. Then you can choose, do you want to be able to see self buffs? Do you want to see self debuffs, target debuffs, long effects and permanent fix? Most people probably don't want long effects and permanent effects. As you can see in the bottom, it basically shows me my ESO Plus member and it shows me my experience boost, like the two hours um, when the, the Christmas event boost, which gives you 100% more experience. So most people probably don't want this to be shown because, you know, why would you need to have this shown on? So you could also do like uh, command, scroll down and say no, no long effects, no permanent effects. And there you go. Now it shows me only the most valuable one, as you can see here. It shows me the shield I'm using and the additional effect it gives me. And also this one here where I deal 20 plus more weapons damage and spell damage. So basically this is my buffs, which is more useful. And again, if you don't want to see your self buffs, you could also go to combat and disable self buffs. The self buffs. But for some reason, I like to have it. I like to have them on. So it reminds me like I have my XP buff on. Yeah, maybe I will disable them later. Perhaps. Go back to settings. Uh, I think come back, we finished that one. And that's it. So when you have enabled all those settings, you will see you will see your interface all the time. You will see your spells all the time. You will see if you use a spell like, like this. You have all your buffs now. When we switch bar, we can see behind here when it's like going out again. Resource numbers. And when you target someone, you will see in the top like there, but that we can see how much HP they have and so on. So in my world, I love having nameplates of both people. I love having to be able to see like the health bar of both people. And it, it just, I really like this game and it just makes the game closer to like other MMOs, where, which I think is pretty neat. I, I definitely like that. So um, that's my settings for Elder Scrolls Online. So thanks for watching, have a great evening, and let me know in the comments if you play different settings, like is there one of the settings I showed you in my video you didn't like or anything like that? Else, well, well, thanks for watching, have a great evening, and see you in another video, bye!